click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the Werner theory and now in this topic we are going to talk about the application of the Werner theory on the cobalt 3 amines. So how we can predict that what is the primary valency and how much is the secondary valency. So this is what we are going to talk about in this topic. So now let's understand in detail. Hello friends, now here we are going to talk about the application of Werner theory. So based on that, let me introduce a particular complex and the complex is of cobalt and that is CO, Cl3, 4, NH3. So in this case, basically, as we can see, that is this is a compound and this could be a complex. But the thing is, whenever it has been treated with, that is HGNO3. So in that case, basically, there are only two ions are being formed. So for example, suppose if this compound is treated with HGNO3. So therefore, this is the first compound that is I am talking about a cobalt 3 amine. So whenever this complex or whenever this compound is treated with AgNO3, so therefore we could get that is two ions and out of which basically we could understand that is the central atom is cobalt. So talking about the other atoms that is Cl which is twice and talking about the rest of the thing that is NH3 is present four times. And here we will get that is one mole of Cl minus. So what does this mean actually? It means that whenever this complex or whenever this compound is treated with AgNO3, so in that case basically the silver ion it reacts with this Cl minus ion so as to form a precipitate. And here basically we get two ions and out of which one of it is a complex and the rest of the thing is that is Cl minus. So this proves that the coordination number of the cobalt is six so as you can see that is the cobalt is associated with six groups or atoms in this case so that is four NH3 group and two Cl atom and that's the reason that the coordination number of this cobalt is six while one of the Cl is basically removed out so in that case we could say that is the Cl is bonding with this cobalt in the form of a primary valency and the rest of the things are the secondary valency which are very much fixed. So that's the reason that suppose if I talk about the structure of this so let me explain the structure of it. The structure is very much simple to understand that is in this case the cobalt is the central metal while talking about the rest of the thing where we can find that is NH3 groups that is four NH3 groups are surrounding this central atom as well as two Cl atoms that is chlorine atoms are also surrounding the cobalt but here basically the chlorine atoms are behaving a dual nature so that means they are satisfying the primary valency as well as the secondary valency so that's the reason I'm just adding it over here as dash so that so I could differentiate that is this chlorine behaves like a primary as well as a secondary valency and talking about the rest of the Cl that is this is what I was talking about. So this dotted lines it represents that is this ionizes and that's the reason that only one Cl ionizes in spite of having three Cl associated with cobalt only one Cl gets ionized while the rest of the thing they take part in the secondary valency and they are very much fixed making the coordination number to be six. So this was the first compound and now let me talk about the next complex of the cobalt 3 amine. So talking about the next complex that is suppose if I'm considering that is a compound that is C which is associated with 3 Cl and now here basically I'm talking about that is NH3 which is suppose five times. So in this case suppose if I treat this compound with AgNO3 So it was been found that is there are three ions that are been producing for example that is out of this basically there are three Cl as we can understand but out of which the two Cl ionizes that is the two chlorine atom ionizes in the form of Cl minus while the rest of the thing it will remain attached to the cobalt and that's the reason that the complex is where we can find the cobalt is at the center while talking about that is there is only one Cl that has been associated out of three there is only one Cl that has been associated to the cobalt while the rest of the five NH3 are associated with this 
cobalt and that's the reason that i would write it over here as two plus charge because we have to satisfy the valency so in that case this is the complex that it has been forming and here basically we can see that is two cl minus r basically ionized and suppose if we talk about the coordination number so here also the coordination number is six how because if CO that is the cobalt is a central atom so we can find that is five ammonia groups are basically associated with this cobalt and one CL so making a total of six so therefore six atoms or we could say group of atoms are basically associated with the central atom in this case it is cobalt and making the coordination number as six so here basically the ag 3 it will precipitate out two cl minus and that is how basically we could get three ions that is one is the complex and two are of the cl minus ions so this was the second example and now let me discuss about the third and fourth so talking about the next example that is suppose if i consider a compound that is co cl3 six nh3 and suppose if it is treated with ag 3 so in this case it was been found that is it will ionize into two ions that is one would be complex and another would be the other ion that is cl minus ion so since we understand that is the cobalt has a coordination number of six so in that case we see cobalt will be surrounded here by ammonia that is six moles of ammonia and in that case basically it would ionize three moles of cl minus acquiring a three plus charge on it so therefore there are basically four ions that has been ionized and in order of which one is the complex and the rest of the three are the cl minus ion making the coordination number to be six and here basically we can find that is this consists of three primary valency and six secondary valencies so this was the third one and now let me discuss about the last one so talking about the last one that is suppose if i consider that is co cl3 nh3 and that also suppose thrice so suppose if i treat this with a03 so in that case let me tell you that is this all reactions are reversible and that's how we could get a complex that is co cl3 nh3 thrice so here there is no ions that has been produced so that's the reason that there will be zero cl or any other ion and that's the reason that this complex is basically neutral and there will be no effect of the energy of this complex because all the six that is groups are associated with the cobalt and that's the reason there will be no precipitate so this proves the theory of awareness that it includes two valencies that is primary and the secondary and that's it so this is what i want to discuss about in this topic so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this topic very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much